This is IKMC International Kangaroo Mathematics Contest, and we are solving questions for pre equally class one and two from the latest year, two thousand twenty-two paper. Well, question number three is the picture shows five identical bricks. How many bricks are touching exactly three other bricks? Options are available here at the bottom of the picture. Option A is one, B is two, C three, D four, and last option e is five. So there are five identical bricks, five same bricks. place differently the left side is what stacked up and the right side bricks are placed next to the stacked up bricks well what we are going to find is the total number of the bricks exactly touching three other bricks uh, i have assumed is not assumed but zoom in the picture so that you can easily get the uh, logics of this question first of all we need to check how many bricks how are the bricks placed uh, so i have written and uh, brick number 1 2 3 the bricks which are stacked up only the one side i am using or the brick not any other side okay now brick number 4 and brick number 5 Bef uh, between 4 and 5 numbers there is also one side but this is actually the brick part because uh, uh, we are using three dimension they are using three dimensional pictures so you need to be careful by putting the numbers three bricks are stacked up on the left side and two bricks are placed exactly next to the stacked up bricks so how many bricks are touching exactly three other bricks we need to count total number of bricks we need to count total number of bricks which are exactly touching these three bricks where i have written 1 2 and 3 numbers so exactly three identical bricks these are which are stacked up nicely on the left side and fourth and fifth are the bricks which are placed vertically next to each other and touching exactly three identical bricks so i have written numbers in green on the top view of the right side bricks and these are only two bricks which are touching the three bricks the left bricks i have put the arrow so that you can easily seen that brick number 4 and 5 is touching three bricks so count the total number of bricks that is 1 and 2 and this is your right answer hope you will get the logic of that question but uh, i personally believe that uh, if you find uh, five bricks uh, at your garden side then you can put it like that and you can actually check uh, the two bricks placement which are touching the three other bricks if you do that this will help you a lot because visuals attracts our mind a lot rather than the paperwork Next to question number three is question number four. One sandwich and one juice together cost twelve euro. One sandwich and two juices together cost cost fourteen euro. How many does one juice cost? Options are available. Option A is one, B is two, C is three, four, D is four, E is five. The picture is given below, and uh, this picture shows a burger plus. Juice together cost twelve, and a burger and uh, plus two juices to all together got 14 rupees well we can say it rupees because we are living in pakistan but still you well um, but still currency doesn't matter we just have to find the total number method 1 the easy trick what we are going to do is here the method 1 but, but there is also method number 2 but this is your own choice you uh, math questions can easily be solved with any method however you have to be very careful because answer sh should get corrected should be corrected here this is a picture i have zoomed in the picture and we will solve the picture we will solve this question through visualization or is it the cutting method you can use it you are actually using it in your books as well so there are two burgers and two burgers uh, i have cut it from the upside and downside and i have cut only one juice packet from the upside and downside and do you know that uh, in the primary textbooks of mathematics uh, new oxford i am uh, actually recommend referring these uh, primary new syllabus oxford books 
cutting method is exactly equal to the subtraction method okay now i am going to start it from the start so first of all cut the burgers on the upside and downside one burger on the upside one burger in the downside cut the both now cut one juice there is only one juice in the upper side and the and uh, from the two juices you have to cut the down juice only one packet of juice not the other because we are comparing both of the both of the upper and lower equations now what you are going to do is that cutting meaning is subtraction in mathematics so 14 minus 12 i have look at there i have put sign after cutting so 15 14 minus 12 is what 14 minus 12 is what 2 rupees you got it now i'm moving the slides backwards and i'm going to uh, i'm going to explain it in a flow look over there that was a picture i have cut the burgers from the upper equation and the lower equation one only one burger are in both sides so one packet of juice from the upside and downside but there is another packet of juice left and we just need to find the one packet of juice <coughs> here cutting meaning is there 14 minus 12 and uh, 14 minus 12 is what the answer is two rupees so our answer uh, for this question is uh, option number b two this is our answer so one juice packet cost two method number two what we are going to do is we have to find how many how much ju does uh, one juice packet cost so i have placed uh, placed both of the equations side by side and i we are going to solve this question slightly not slightly but very different method we already know that odd and even numbers and uh, the these are the rules we have to check when two odd numbers are added uh, i'm uh, actually starting from the left side when two numbers are added we will get even number like suppose three plus three we will get six when two even numbers are added we will get even number like two plus two is what four on the right side when even and odd number added we will get odd number like one plus two is what three now we are going to use the alphabets e is for even and uh, for burger we are using now we are using numbers if we use even plus even number we will get even because there is 12 is an even number so both of the packets if we use even number then we will get the even number here what we are going to do is even number e for burger plus e for both of the packets and then we will get the even number because 12 and 14 are the even numbers so our strategy for the even numbers is that even even if you add it together you will get even and there is also one other another strategy that was odd and odd number you will get even left left side you can even check that even numbers whenever you add odd numbers you will get even and whenever you add even numbers you will get even numbers so i have used this one so we are both using even numbers so what we are going to do is we have further going for the details so if there are two packets for if we are going to take uh, if we are going to get uh, even number then uh, there are two strategies two points so first of all we are using that even and even we will get even and odd and odd we will get odd so here we are solving the other strategy uh, other we are using the other strategy odd and odd we will get even and odd plus odd uh, equals to even but we are further explaining that if we have two packets for two packets odd and odd if we are using two odd numbers we will get even and this is wrong because we need only odd number for two juice packets and if we use even plus even we always get even number this one is also wrong and if we use odd plus even and this is odd number we get and this one is also wrong because the same juice packets contain same numbers so we are not using this odd method we are only using even method this one we can take only even numbers for burger and juice so suppose take six for burger take six for burger and we are using just the supposition method so we already know that if we take six for burger then we we add six then we will get 12. 
similarly we get 6 plus 6 plus 6 then it is 18 this one is wrong because 14 is not equal to 18 on the right side the answer must be 14 so here is 6 is are wrong for a burger now we take a number remember we are skipping 7 because uh, because you know that if we are not allowed to take 7 because or numbers we have already proven it why we are not using or numbers because the two packets of juice must have the same number now move to our question that is now take 8 for burger 8 for burger for for uh, a packet of juice because we know that if we take only 8 here if we suppose 1 then only if we put 8 if we put 4 inside 8 we will get 12 so on the right side we have to prove our answer whether we will get 14 or not 8 plus 4 plus 4 we will get 16 this 8 number is also wrong because 14 is not 16 equal to not 16 now take uh, 10 for burger we are also skipping 9 because we are not allowed to use odd numbers 10 plus 2 we will get 12 10 is a supposition for burger and we know that if we put 2 inside 10 we will get 12 here 10 plus 2 plus 2 equals to 14 now this equation is right because both our answers are correct juices juice packet is uh, price is 2 and on the other side the juice packet's price is 2 as well and both the numbers are same so our answer is option number b 2 this is our correct answer hope you enjoy it and you will get it hope you enjoy it sorry for the for moving fast uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you have any query then you can answer it at the you can say it or comment it in the comments box thanks bye bye